we recently purchased two AV cans 30x zoom cameras as a kit that came with two cameras plus an AV Joy IP that we got and upon receiving it I noticed that the joystick has the option by holding number or function one and it says start tracking and holding it off it says stop tracking but that did not work for the 30x zoom cameras with the AI tracking option which is a new added on feature with the new firm, firmware upgrade that they have added so I contacted the company and I asked them if there was a way to do this and they graciously sent me the Visca IP codes that you could or the Visca codes that you could put on there to be able to do this and what I want to do over the next few minutes is to show you how you can make that feature enable tracking and disable tracking just by using the joystick instead of having to go to the browser to do that. You still need to go to the browser to set the conditions in the way you want it to be, whether you want it to be a zone tracking or a presenter tracking or the automatic tracking of what it chooses to do. You still have to do that through the browser. But once you have said that, then you can come to the joystick and you can hold function one and enable tracking and hold function two to disable tracking. So let's get into that. Okay, so now here I have set camera number four to be one of the AV cans cameras with AI tracking. And if I hold one right here, you see it says start tracking. And it says, if I hold two, it says stop tracking. However, this does not work on the AV can 30 cameras with AI tracking or the ones with uh, 20x AI tracking. This was for another model that was made prior to this, but the new firmware added the AI tracking feature that this does not enable or disable. So I want to show you how you can do that. In order to do that, you have to go to setup. Then when you come down here to assigned key, you will notice that function one and function two have the options of start tracking and stop tracking. I hope you can see on the screen. Now we want to change that to the Visca codes that we have right here, which I am going to put on the screen for you. Now I've already said this, but I'm going to redo it so you can see this. So if you click on CMD one, let me go back real quick. Let me start this all over so you can see again. So you push the setup button, you go to assign key. Then from there you go all the way down to CMD settings. Once you click on that, you see four CMD options, CMD1, CMD2, CMD3, CMD4. If you click on CMD1, seems like nothing happens, but if you push the button that says home on it, it will delete those numbers for you. What you want to do from here is you want to add the new numbers that allow you to do the tracking and disable tracking with. So first one is to enable tracking or turn on tracking. The number for that is 810A. To get to the letter A, it's like the old cell phones. What you do is you push number two until you get to A. And then the next one is one, you have to give it a pause, one again, 5402 and the last two letters are F and F. So what you got to do is push three until you get to F. Give it a pause and then repeat the process. So now we have tracking enable for CMD1. Now let me go to CMD2 now. We're going to make this to be disable tracking. So again, you go on it, you click. And then once you click, you delete the numbers. And the numbers for disabling tracking is 810A. See, if you make a mistake, now you go delete it again. 810A. Next, one, give it a pause. One, five, four, zero, three, and then F again. F. I made a mistake, so I got to go back. F. All right, so now this CMD2 is set to be as disabled tracking. Now, the next thing you got to do is exit out of this, go to function one, 
And you see where it says start tracking? Now we want to change this to CMD1. You go until you find CMD1. Perfect. Now you go to function 2 and you go all the way to until you find CMD2. There. Now here it is. Once this is set, now you can exit out of this. Go back to your camera where it's chosen. Now if I hold 1, you will see on the screen that it will say sending CMD1 and if I hold 2 it says send CMD2. This allows you to enable and disable tracking. Now I'm going to try to show you on the camera how it actually works when we turn on the tracking and the tracking on and off. Okay right here if you can see on the screen I have the camera that I want to turn on tracking for. Now when I go and I actually hold the button function one to turn on tracking did you see how it changed it went into the tracking mode and now if I hold function two down again it turns the tracking off and you can begin to control the joyce the camera with the joystick now once the tracking is turned on on the camera I turn it on again the joystick will no longer work it just goes into the automatic mode so just have that in mind but this is as simple as it gets I hope it helps you to figure it out for yourself and I hope this allows you to be able to use the, the um, joystick to be able to turn on tracking and turn off tracking for yourselves.